All right, let's welcome our first guest to the show. Uh, Ted Farnsworth is on the phone. He's the CEO and chairman of Helos and Matheson uh, Analytics. This doesn't tell you much about Ted, but you should understand that he has an amazing career in creating, and he is the founder of companies like Highlander Companies, uh, Millennia Hotels, the Hotel Group, and iCrowd Hotels. Let's welcome to the show, Ted. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Okay. I'm sorry that we had a little difficulty getting you on uh, by phone, but I know you're you're traveling and you're on the road. Next time, we're going to get you right here in the studio so that we have you handcuffed. Uh, that sounds great. That sounds <laughs> great. Not a, not a problem. Uh, we're we're in New York City and uh, you know Helios and Mathis and uh, we uh, made the announcement back on August fifteenth that we had acquired a company called Movie Pass. And yes. so it's been a whirlwind ever since that because it uh, has just gone uh, crazy. So. Well, that has been a little busy. I mean, I got to tell you, that's a big coup. And you guys, uh, you guys, well, your entire career has been pretty amazing. And I want to drill down into MoviePass in just a minute. But do you mind if we just take a step back? Because you've had this robust 30 year career in analytics and developing proprietary products. Can you tell me when did it start for you and why you decided this career path? Sure, sure. It actually dis- it, it actually uh, started when I was 13. I had a chicken wing business, which, wow, now is 40 years ago. At 13? And in my parents', yeah, my parents restaurant in the Adirondack uh, Mountains in the summertime and sold chicken wings in their bar and made uh, several thousand dollars in a couple months as a 13-year-old. And that's when I realized I would never work for anybody <laughs> and uh, do my own things. And then the rest was... Uh, history of, you know, just going and realizing I, I, you know, the entrepreneurial bug got a hold of me and I went on and uh, sure. moved to Florida and started other businesses along the way so, and had great successes, but also had great failures. As I tell everybody, you learn more from your failures than you do your successes. And I think that's so important because, and I know you speak in, uh, uh, around the country about these these exact things, but so many of our viewers and listeners they are they're entrepreneurs and sure. and they've created ideas and you know what that's like and they hit pitfalls and so we speak to them and we want to you know that's part of what we're doing is trying to educate people you know not to give up and and keep the fight because sure. if you want sure. it bad enough so tell me that kind of transition you started at 13 did where'd you go to college did not go to college did not go ah. to college no Actually, See, actually, so um, many... no, nope, moved from New York to Florida uh, right after I uh, went to high school in Florida and then uh, stayed in Florida thereafter down in, uh, you know, in uh, Deerfield Beach in South Florida, Boca Raton area. And, you know, uh, I, I mean, I, I did go to college. I shouldn't say that. I did go to college for a couple of weeks and I just realized it wasn't for me. I couldn't. Right. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, it was the one class. of those things as an entrepreneur where you're sitting here and you're saying, uh, oh, gosh, how are these people going to teach me how to make millions of dollars, you know? And yes. I, I felt like it was time to get out there and, and do my own thing. So, um, and then uh, just went on and started doing my own different businesses. And like I said, you know, you got a lot of, lot of and I think, I think a lot of it is, you know, speaking to any entrepreneur out there, which I do speak to entrepreneurs all over the, all over the country and different parts of the world, but the biggest thing is just what you just said, where you don't give up. It's, it's, yeah. There's so many times in my career where I've wanted to give up. And boy, I tell you, I look back and there's so many times where I wanted to give up and I didn't realize I was on the one yard line and it was just about ready to happen. And if I had given up, it never would have happened. That's um, so great. And then there also comes the balance of when do you realize that you got to pivot? You know, when you got to pivot your business and it's not exactly what you thought it was going to be. And I would just tell people as well as, the best, the best thing you can do is listen to your gut. I mean, that is something where, you know, my partner, you know, in Movie Pass is one of the co-founders of, you know, Netflix and, mm-hmm. and one of the other original guys from uh, Facebook. And we all talk about that where it really is your gut instinct. It really is your sixth sense of when you know something's right and people try to talk you out of it, 
don't don't just block it out and go for it and just keep pushing and keep going and find the and find great mentors and find people that believe in you and find people that believe in your idea and your concept and surround yourself with winners. And you know? people don't um, realize that those mentors and those people are out there if you just oh, ask sure. for it. You just got to sure, ask. Sure, sure. Yep, yep. And, and, you know, you're so right because any great entrepreneur, I don't care who it is, I've had amazing mentors. I mean, people that are multi, multi-billionaires over my life, and I've been blessed to have them. But any great entrepreneur has been through the trenches and they love mentoring and helping new entrepreneurs out with their ideas and their concepts. And, and we do it all the time. We still do it all the time to, uh, you always find time to do that. Cause it's also fun for us. Yes. No, truly, truly is. And I only got a couple minutes and it's so frustrating because this information is so valuable and, and, uh, but I'm, sure. you're going to promise you're going to come back on real oh, quick. Sure, I sure. do want to talk sense. about, because what you did in creating zone technology, uh, oh, yeah. is going to change the world and help people all over the world, uh, especially vacationers and just everybody. Can you kind of give me just a minute of what zone technologies is? Sure. Absolutely. I came up with the concept of red zone when I was on a trip in Israel, um, in uh, several years ago. And really what it was, was I'm sure your listeners are familiar with obviously Waze and uh, Google Maps and mm-hmm. Apple Maps. And I was wondering why nobody had mapped out crime to tell you a safe area, a risky area or a non-risky area. Do I go to a gas station off this exit? Do I not? And that's really what I started to build on. And then I started doing my research and finding out that it was, um, that it was uh, basically to go ahead and to run with it. And I did, and we built it. And then, um, I, you know, did a deal with a NASDAQ company and took that over and then started building other technologies around it, facial recognition and other things to even build zone technologies, even to a much bigger level, which, which it's gone to, uh, you know, and that's the Helios and Matheson is the parent company, which is on NASDAQ with, uh, HMNY is the symbol on it, but it's, it's a great story, and it's a, it was it is one a of my great innovations. Story. And 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 I want I need you back on to talk about this because <laughs> we're going to have to go to break now. And and uh, no problem. But it's so important. You're a genius with Red Zone. <laughs> There's no question. It's it's Ted Farnsworth, CEO and Chairman of Helios and Matheson Analytics. They can find you at hmny.com. Is that correct? Correct. And that's our symbol as well, stock symbol. Okay, Correct. my friend. Thank you so much thank for being so part much. of the show. I'll be back anytime. Okay, buddy. Thank, thank you, so you Ted. All right, bye bye.